What up, Internet? My name is Chris, and you're about to watch one of my math videos. And I just want to let you know that if you want live tutoring, or if you just need homework solutions, or if you just want to watch all my free math videos, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com, and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy my video, and take care. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to solve systems of equations using the substitution method. And in this particular system, there's just going to be one solution. And there is some particular cases where the systems have infinite amount of solutions, and there's some systems of equations that have no solution. Um, and I explain what that looks like in my solving systems of equations elimination video. Um, so if you don't know what a system with no solution or a system with infinite amount of solution looks like, uh, make sure that you go back to my elimination video and I will explain everything uh, to you in that video. Um, but this particular system has just one solution, uh, so let's get started with this example. And I wrote the steps for you on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, so our step number one is we want to solve either equation uh, for y or x. Um, so notice in our first equation, um, it is really, really easy uh, to solve it for y. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to solve the first equation for y, just because the only thing I have to do is subtract 5x from both sides, and I can solve for y very easily. And I'm going to rewrite the equation right down here, and I'm left with y equals 12 minus 5x. And I really want to emphasize that you can solve either equation for y or x, and I just chose to solve the first equation for y just because it could be done in one easy, simple step. Um, so let's move on to step number two, is we want to substitute our y or our x into the other equation. Um, so since we solve for y, I want to substitute y into the other equation. Um, so I'm just going to rewrite my second equation, which is 2x minus 3y. And instead of writing y, I'm going to put a big parenthesis equals negative 2. And I'm going to substitute my y, which we know equals 12 minus 5x, into this parentheses. Now let's move on to step number three. We want to solve for our x. Most of you probably know how to finish this problem from here on out. Um, the first thing you want to do is distribute and get rid of this parentheses. And we're left with 2x. Negative 3 uh, times 12 is negative 36. Negative 3 times negative 5x is positive 15x, and all that equals negative 2. Um, so right now I'm just going to combine my like terms. Uh, my 2x and my 15x uh, make 17x. And I'm going to add 36 to both sides. Negative 2 plus 36 equals 34. Now we divide both sides by 17, and we're left with x equals 2. Now we can move on to uh, step number 4, and that is to plug in to any other equation the, the x to get our y. Um, so I'm just going to use this equation right up here. And I'm going to plug my x in there uh, to find out our y. So we're left with y equals 12 minus 5x. And instead of putting x, I'm going to plug in a 2, since we know that x equals 2. Five times 2 is 10, so 12 minus 10 equals 2. So we know that y equals positive 2. 
Now we have solved our system of equations, and you always write your final answer as a coordinate. Uh, so our x equals 2, and our y equals 2. And here's our final answer. I hope this video helped you understand substitution a little bit better. Uh, if you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please feel free uh, to visit my website at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, mathmeeting.com. Also, if you like the way I teach, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, in the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed my video, and take care.